I don't really get to stand up for myself. I mean, I have great teammates. I have a great support system. I got my hometown. I got my family that stands up for me. I don't really get to speak out on things just because I just try to ignore and I just try to stand strong. Like I've been through so much. I've seen so much. I've been attacked so many times. Death threats. I've been sexualized. I've been threatened. I've been so many things and I've stood strong every single time. And I just try to stand strong for my teammates because I don't want them to see me down and like not be there for them. So. I just want to always just know, like, I'm still a human. Like, all this has happened since I won the national championship. And I said the other day, I haven't had peace since then. And it sucks, And but I still wouldn't change. I wouldn't change anything. And I would still sit here and say, like, I'm unapologetically me. I'm going to always leave that mark and be who I am and stand on that. And hopefully the little girls that look up to me, and hopefully I give them some type of inspiration that, you know, hopefully it's not this hard and all the things that come at you. But... Keep being who you are. Keep waking up every day. Keep mo being motivated. Staying who you are. Staying ten toes. Don't back down. And just be confident. That's very interesting. So you go to claim to be the villain. You go to you go to Sports Illustrate to pretty much sell your body to profit. Um, you pretty much brought all the heat to the kitchen and you couldn't stand it. And when all this start coming at you, you cry victimhood. Uh, death threats, uh, sexualized, um, you, know, you know, you have to stand up for yourself. All those, we can debate on that, you know, death threats, who, 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 who what kind of idiot would send you a death threat? Um, you know, sexualize. Uh, who sexualized you? You made a decision to go to Sport Illustrated to sell your body. You got paid for it. Nobody sexualized you. You made the decision yourself, Angel. Um, you know, you had to stand up for yourself. Well, welcome to everyday life. Everybody around the world are going through something. We all have to stand up when the world of life pushes down. So you can do it too. So don't bring the victimhood card. And um, by doing that, Angel, you're leading bad example for the future generation, especially wonderful youth that look up to you. Because by you crying victimhood, guess what happened? The black community is going to go bananas because they are horrible, horrible, evil people in the black community that are manipulating our youth, either through music, either through influence, because I've seen people with large, huge following. And because of you, they brought up the race card. Oh, now the whole world uh, want to sexualize Angel, want to uh, send her death threat, um, uh, coming down at her, hating on her because she lost to Iowa. You brought all the heat onto yourself. And when you can't stand the heat, what happened? Don't stand in the kitchen. Get out of the kitchen. Because people will come at you when you want to hold the title of the villain. When you won the NCAA finals last year, you act the fool. You didn't have to do any of that stuff, but you chose to do it. You chose to be the villain. You chose to have the whole world eyes on you. When you want all eyes on you, you have to get ready for what's to come. So please save the victimhood card. And um, when it's too late, you did it. You got beat by Caitlin Clark and Iowa. Instead of accepting the loss like a good leader would, you cry victimhood. You can disagree with me, my villagers. This is just how I feel, what I observed from last year to now. But let me know in the comment section how you feel because we're here to have a conversation. Because Ocho said this. Take a look. I just want to say a quick thank you um, to everyone who has respectfully uh, reprimanded me and uh, offered brilliant opinions on the Angel Reese 
conversation. I do not believe there is any one way to think about things, but thank you to the Ryan Clarks, the Essence Atkinses, the Bozema St. John's, um, the Trellas, the, the different individuals who is publicly and privately, um, just giving me good wisdom, good feedback, uh, good, good discernment. Um, I understand. I understand. I understand. I think life is all about understanding. And so I just want to applaud those publicly, you watching, and those privately who have respectfully, the operative word there being respectfully, who have respectfully reprimanded me. Matt Barnes, incredibly, incredibly, incredibly wise words. Um, so I thank all of you all for that. I do not stand on a hill saying that I am right and you are wrong. I simply stand on a place saying, hey, this is what I believe. What do you believe? Let's listen to one another and construct a collective belief. So love to everybody who's respectfully reprimanded me. And I appreciate it so, so, so very much. Thank you all for that. Was he wrong? No. He was giving an unbiased, gender neutral opinion of Andrew Reese. And I agree with him 100%. Actually, I agree with him 10,000%, but not those woke black activists, not those woke uh, people that, horrible, horrible people that are manipulating our youth, manipulating the black community because they're using the race card. Oh, just because Andrew Reese, she's black. Now she's getting hated on by the world. No, no, no. Hold off. Save your race card for... Actually, burn the race card. You don't have to. Save, save your race card because Andrew Reese is a grown woman. She claimed to be the villain. She sold her body to Sport Illustrated. For profit, she profit. She went bananas on last year in CAA, and this year she lost, so she couldn't back it up. So stand on it. Stand on it. Don't, but don't cry victimhood because they make you look really weak. And I know Andrew Reese is no weak woman, right? So stand on it. Because once you go to the draft or WNBA, you get to you get to redeem yourself because the Caitlin Clark versus Andrew Reese, it's not gonna end in college. They both enter the draft and they both go to rock WNBA. This video is not about me hating on Andrew Reese. I respect her as a woman. I respect her when she makes a decision. I respect her when she decided to call herself the villain. Stand on it. But when shit hit the fans, don't cry victimhood. Stand on it. You chose to sell your body to Sport Illustrated for, uh, you know, bikini pictures, whatever case may be. Stand on it. But don't cry victimhood when shit hit the fan because it was you that made those decisions, Angel. Make WNBA great. But don't bring victimhood to WNBA because that is going to divide us even more. That's going to help the evil Black influencers, even doctors, lawyers, all these uh, big head, heavy influencers, they're going to use you to manipulate the black community, especially our youth. Oh, her skin color is black. Therefore, the whole world is going to hate on her. No, the world will hate on a person's character once it's exposed. But it's not too late, Angel. You can do better. And I don't I get why, you know, um, Ocho have to apologize because all these Black activists, all this uh, fake, uh, you know, fake in black influencers, they're going after him saying, oh, you, you'll be too mean. You don't understand what we go through. Stand on it. Mama mentality. Andrew Reese don't have that mama mentality. Or does she? We're going to find out very soon. So, you know, uh, back to Caitlin Clark. So she, you know, the, the battle between her and UConn, Ooh, it was intense, man. You know, very low scoring game, but of course it's gonna go come down to uh, the last play. You know, if you watch it, if you watch that game, you know, everybody can contribute. You know, um, Iowa, everybody, uh, UConn, everybody. Man, that, 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 that game was fun, but it came down to the wire. 
I think it was what um, 1.9 seconds left or 0.9 seconds left and uh, they call a foul and that foul is 10 million percent it was a foul when you do our when uh, um, the screen I, I, have, I have I have videos for you of course I always have videos uh, but let's let's go oh, actually let's take a look at the last play go. If you watch basketball and you know anything about basketball, that's called a moving screen. You know how I know about it? Because I am a fan of Golden State Warriors. When they were on their way to win the champion, everybody and their mamas talk about Draymond Green and his moving screen. How the ref always give Draymond the, uh, uh, the, the, the no call because of his moving screen. That means when you have a screen right here, you're a big person, you stay in one spot. You can't push your elbow out, can't push your shoulder out, can't move any part of your body to prevent a defender from going through. And that's what happened. Edwards did that. Um, I thought, I believe her name was Aaliyah, Aaliyah Edwards, number three. Uh, she committed a moving screen against, I believe it was Marshall. Yeah. Um, Number 24 from Iowa, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comment section. I remember it was that last play. And it, it, it was horrible. It's a horrible way to end the game, but it's the right call. Especially, the referee was standing right there. They have to call that. No way around it. And people getting mad. I see people getting mad. Like, oh, that play should be called. Let them play it out. Iowa was winning by a point. So why should they let go of that call? You know, if they didn't make that call and UConn make that last shot, ooh, then you're gonna hear it from everyone and their mamas. They're gonna slow down the play, you're gonna see that was a clearly a moving screen foul. So with that, they have to call it fair call. UConn, come back next year. But it's the Kaylin Clark and Iowa show. The pretty sure it was the highest view of all time for uh, college basketball. Because the last game when Iowa played against uh, LSU, I think it was like 12.3 million uh, views. Oh my goodness. That's money. Money for the uh, uh, WNBA. Uh, money for the uh, NCAA, you know, women tournament. And it's it, it good for the sport. Very good for the sport. So stop hating on Kaylin Clark. Uh, stop hating on uh, uh, um, Andrew Reese. Andrew Reese got just got to stand on whatever she speak out about, and don't allow the black community, especially those fake ass black influencer uh, activists, to use her and stir up more division in our country. Be smart, Angel. I know you are very smart. Don't let them use you. Kaylee Clark. What was her point? I think her final point was twenty one points. Seven assists and nine uh, rebounds. Uh, I, I love rebounds and assists because um, I'm a team player. Even though when I play basketball, I score like two points, three points, but I have like nine assists, you know, uh, two rebounds because I'm not that tall. But I love assisting my, my, my teammate. I love assisting people. Um, you know, part of me being an insurance man for 17 years, I love to assist people. I love to help people. And I've just embedded in my DNA ever since I was a child in Vietnam. Uh, remember, you watched my video before, I said, you know, my mother taught me, look down on people only if you have the intention to help them up. That's a beautiful lesson. It's forever embedded in my heart, in my DNA. So that's why I love assisting people. Yeah, so seven rebounds, I mean, nine rebounds, seven assists, and 21 points. But the whole team uh, contributed to the game, man. It was, it was, it was fun. Low scoring, but... Every possession matters toward the end of that uh, fourth quarter. Beautiful. But let me know, is this going to be a rivalry, Villagers, between Angel Rees and um, Caitlin Clark? Because I'm pretty sure Caitlin Clark is going to go, it's going to be the first, yeah, she's going to come coming out, first draft in the WNBA. There's no doubt, no doubt at all. Uh, if I remember correctly, Angel Rees probably going like, what, six, seven, maybe five, if you want to reach. But that's, that's the way it is. Uh, there's a lot of good WNBA players um, right now waiting for Kaylin Clark and Andrew Reese to uh, 
come up and uh, so they can smash on them. That's just how it is. WNBA is not like college basketball. They're going to be more aggressive. Um, they're going to let you run around and shoot like 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 your Stephen Curry. But good luck step, uh, stopping Caitlin Clark. Uh, if you haven't hopped on her bandwagon yet, I hope you do. Because she's very disciplined. Uh, she's so disciplined that when she start, you know, chirping at the referee, her dad even yelled at her when he was watching the game. I have clips. Take a look at this. Martin commits the foul. Clark thought that the That's why I love. Daddy's always around to tell you when you do something wrong. Don't rely on the ref. Don't chirp at the ref. They have enough th on their plate to deal with. All these players making sure you're making the right calls. The last thing the ref want is a chirping player. So her dad checked her right away. It's not a bad thing. You need to have that fatherhood in the household to let you know when you do something wrong, to guide you to make better decisions, to be a pillar in your life. Fatherhood is very important for a child. So the next time you decide to split up whatever villagers, I hope you reconsider. Because every child deserves a mom and a dad in a household. But that's too much of me talking. This rivalry I'm very excited for. Um, but what do you think? Let me know in the comment section if you like this kind of content. Um, you know, if you do, comment, like, share, and subscribe. And there's a bell. If you click on that bell, I'll be making videos daily. I learned how to edit now. A new mic like I promised. Um, you know, I'm upgrading slowly but surely. Um, but the main thing here is I want to make sure to entertain my villagers while providing facts and data. And you can be your own thinkers, be your own, uh, you know, truth seekers. And let me know in the comment section, how you like the content? What do you think of Kaylin Clark? Will she win the, the final? They're going to come up. I think uh, it's going to be Sunday, this coming Sunday. So let me know. You think she's going to take it all away or will, uh, you know, what's the other team? North Carolina? Pretty sure it's North Carolina. They are beast. They, they're, they're good. Um... Pretty sure it's North Carolina. Yeah, I'm wrong. Let me know in the comment section too. But I'm watching only because of Kaylee Clark. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm not hating on, 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 on other female players. But uh, Kaylee Clark is a dog. She, she can uh, shoot. Uh, she's a shooter. So let me know in the comment section. Um, how, uh, where are you watching the game this Sunday? And are you inviting, you know, your family having barbecue, or whatever? Or are you going to invite Hugh Trent and Scherzman to your barbecue? Because I would love to watch some basketball game with you. But all jokes aside, villager, please, you have to take care of yourself, take care of your family, and most importantly, we have to take care of our health. I'll see you next time.